Hi, Assalamualaikum and very good morning. Okay, so we now go to the chapter 5. Here we have the improper integrals. Okay, so what is the difference between this, the content in chapter 5 and the thing that we've done in chapter 4? In chapter 4, we've done for the integration of all the three particle particulars the three particular functions um so we have something in the finite integral which is no limit and we also have a the finite integral where we have a limit but if if you realize the limits that we have they are just a real number a specific number and also we, we have you no know, issue where the function uh, is not continuous at the specific limit that we have. Okay, so in chapter 5 now, we have a situation where the limit uh, that we want to, the limit of the integral that we want to integrate uh, contains something, very large number, or we have some, uh, we have a infinite value. Okay, or maybe the limit just okay we have a real number but the function cannot be found at the specific value of x where x is in the range of the limit okay i will uh, explain in details okay so here um, so this is the main content contents that we want to look but before we go further there is a rule or theorem these are very useful for us to apply when we want to solve the improper integrals problem. So it is called the L'Hopital rule. Okay, this is not hospital rule. This is L'Hopital rule. Someone's where the name is L'Hopital. Nothing to do with the hospital. Thing. Okay, so we uh, there are many cases for the L'Hopital rule, but we just um, focus ourselves to just look at the two kind of situation where we have situation 0 over 0 and infinity over infinity okay all right so we look at the L'Hopital rule okay because in in the next section we want to find the or we want to integrate the improper integral where the method that we want to use has to do with the something the limit of the function when x approaching to a specific value okay so um i'm not quite sure your understanding of on the limit uh, things okay right but normally when you want to find the limit um for the function where the function is approaching to a value we always start with the substitution of the x value into the function okay for example here um, we want to find the limit of the x plus 1 when x is approaching 1 so the normal technique that we always apply we just substitute the x equal to 1 into the function so the answer will become 1 plus 1 where x is equal to 1 and the answer is 0 here we can say uh, the limit of the function x plus 1 when x is approaching to 1 is 2 okay so the function of the value of the function when x approaching to 1 is 2 so we just substitute okay but sometimes there is a situation where we have we want to get the limit we have um x over um So x plus 1, x minus 1, and x approaching to 
okay there is a situation where when you plug in the X into the um, into the function f over g where you have fraction from here and x approaching to a specific value for example 1 and when you replace x equal to 1 into the function f and also the function function g you will get 0 and g also you get 0 or there is a situation where when we substitute some specific values we will get infinity over infinity okay zero over zero infinity over infinity or zero over infinity or infinity over zero they are all not a number we don't we do not know exactly what is the value of them okay here we go back with our aim we just want to focus on these two situations so we just ignore these two okay when when you for the first time substituting the value of x into the function so you will get this kind of problem so we you are allowed to or you can say the L'Hopital rule is applicable to be used to simplify your problem okay all right so um the first examples this is the process that we want to find out the limit of uh, x squared plus 1 over x plus 2 when x is approaching to 3 so as the standard uh, step we substitute the x equal to 3 into the function x so we got here we got 9 9 9 plus 1 so that's why we got 10 and the denominator becomes 5 so 10 divided by 5 you got 2 so here we can have the limit the limit of the function when x approaching to 3 is equal to 2 okay so in this case we have no issue but the situation is if we have 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity so that's why the L'Hopital rule comes up okay so here what is the process of the rule what the L'Hopital says so every time you see the 0 over 0 or you see the infinity over infinity situation then we can use the L'Hopital rule so what is your first step okay so I, I'm not going to explain through this form so I will explain through the example okay look at here example 2 here we want to find the limit of sine x over x when x is approaching to 0 okay so what is your uh, standard step I mean what is the first thing that normally we use so we try to find the limit of the function sine x over x when x approaching to 0 so we substitute right so we got when you substitute so you got sine 0 you got 0 and then at 0 you got 0 here we have the situation where we got 0 over 0 and then because this is the case 0 over 0 so we are allowed to apply the L'Hopital rule so by using the L'Hopital rule we are we, we still uh, want to find out the limit of the function when x is approaching to 0 but then um, we have to differentiate the numerator and the denominator separately here you don't need to use the fraction form the fraction uh, the I mean the um, what we call that division rule yeah division rule of yeah division rule okay so you can you have to differentiate them separately okay sine x the numerator we have sine x so when we differentiate the sine x we got cosine x right cosine x and then we differentiate the do the denominator x becomes one okay and then you have cos x over one when you replace cos x equal to zero so you got cos zero so the answer is one so now we can get the value so as a conclusion we can see by using the L'Hopital rule we find out the limit of sine x over x when x is approaching to zero is equal to one. okay normally when we have uh, when we are dealing with the limit 
so it is has to do with the um convergence or divergence okay when we got the value or the limit as this as this mean we can find the value so we can say the function sine x over x when x is approaching to zero is convergent so you can say the function is convergent if the question in the exam asking you about the convergence uh, determine the convergence of the of the particular function so since now we can find the limit the limit as this which is one so we can, can conclude that the limit of the function given is convergent okay